What's up everybody, it's Ballet at Brand. Today I've got a little bit of a short video trying to be producing more evergreen content. But uh, what I wanna talk about this is, is Bitcoin, the community, they have the Bitcoin standard, which was done by Saifedean Amos or however the hell you pronounce it. And um, hexagons have their own book as well, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But I want to talk about the legitimacy of hexagons versus Bitcoiners, right? Richard's talked a lot about, you know, don't copyright my logo. I still need to defend my copyright because I'm the business owner, yada, yada, yada. But has never, you know, um, enabled the website that he had, which was like hexshirt.com or hexshirts.com. The point is this, is that hexagons, they take things into their own hands. And what I want to talk about is how you can communicate to different generations based on, you know, their preferred media, right? So for someone like myself, I'm 24, turning 25 in two months, less than two months. Um, I'm a millennial, right? Like I like the uh, little phone here. Hey, I'll, I'll read my news on the phone. I'll do everything on the phone for the most part, unless I need the computer. But some people, they need books. You know that stuff where you, you smell the, the binder cover, you know, the, the physical thing where you can, uh, you know, do one of these things instead of the, the pinch in, you know, zoom out type deal. The point is this, guys and gals, not to, you know, make this too long, but Joaquin Christensen, he is the, and I'm going to try and make this straight, apologize for any shaky hands, but so this gentleman has made the book called, and look at it, it just, you know, goes perfect on the camera, but what is DeFi Guide to Hex? And it says, your complete guide to getting paid every day the DeFi way. And so, you know, sure, there's stuff that I could criticize, needs a table of content and, and certain other things. But, you know, whoever did this, which I don't know that person's name, should have probably Googled it before, uh, before doing a YouTube video on them. But clearly they're a hexagon. It was like three or four bucks. No, nah, nah, that's not true. It was like four to six bucks on, uh, on Amazon with Prime. And uh, I'll have the link in the description. I'm not getting no referrals, but I should have probably contacted the person about referrals first before making the video. Not like it would only be a couple shekels. Um, the point is this, is that uh, this is 71 pages, right? And I got people that were not willing to get into hacks after me explaining it to them very clearly. Um, and then me kind of explaining the concepts, which is fine. And, uh, you know, sometimes people need a different form of publish, you know, publishing for them to feel that, oh, this is actually legitimate or, oh, this isn't just coming from the horse's mouth. This is coming from a uh, person that's had their, you know, precious little book, uh, you know, edited and published and stuff like that. So that's all I want to say that there is a, uh, and I always like to flip through, I would like if they had a hardback cover, you know. If you're going to do a softback, you should do a hardback too, but neither here nor there. Um, so, it, it, you know, let's just read the back real quick. I'm just going to do one of these and then kind of tell you what it looks like. So it says, you can stop spending nights looking at charts. You know, how great is that, right? The, the person that just gets into day trading, whether it be stocks, Forex, cryptocurrency, um, a lot of them, just like with any sort of addiction or gambling habits, stuff like that, you have a little bit of success uh, at the beginning. That's usually where you have the most euphoria. And then as you get in deeper, you tend to have diminishing returns. So that's the very last bullet point. The second to last is a deep dive into one of the most intriguing products. Damn it, not projects. Come on, dude. You should have talked to me before doing this. Anyways, a deep dive into one of the most intriguing products on the blockchain. So... Replace that in your next version, uh, projects versus products. Because it's a product, it's complete, right? Pulse Chain is a product because it's not complete. Promise Coin, all this other bulls, you know, BS that people might talk about. But um, Pulse Chain is a project, which means it's not fully complete. And uh, Hex is a product. So clear distinction there that I wanted to cover up. Since I'm just reading this now, you're getting it from the horse's mouth. Understand what opportunities are currently open uh, for safe but lucrative investments. You know, that's that's the beautiful thing about Hex, right? It's, uh, it is safe. It is lucrative. 
And it's almost too good to be true. It's one thing that David Feeder talked about a long time ago on live stream was that the only problem that I have is that it just sounds like it's too good to be true. And when you come across that specific sticking point and that specific roadblock, what you need to do is then show them. So um, funding Jim Gary, he's mentioned that he doesn't like to give people hex. He wants people to take the action themselves so then they don't take it for granted. That's fine. Everyone has their own opinion. Um, so whether it be the giving option, you know, you give them some hacks or whether you just show them, hey, I got Staker app. Let me show you one of my addresses that I have. You should have probably multiple addresses. So you're not doxing one of them at a time. But anyway, so you can show them one of your addresses and say, hey, you know, I've had this for 500 days. And, you know, no matter what the principle was, I've earned, you know, uh, 2000x gain, something like that. What else we got? Um, discover things you never knew about Bitcoin in the crypto space. So I'm guessing they mean with Bitcoin, like the vulnerabilities. And I should probably read these 71 pages, but uh, that ain't no chump change. I mean, I could read this in a couple hours, but not going to do it right now before the review. So I'll read the book by its cover and then I'll get into the in-depth view in the future because this shit's already six minutes and 33 seconds. So uh, you can partake in the fastest growing asset class without high risk trading tactics. That's exactly right. You know, so many people, they hear of uh, Jordan Belfort. They hear of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie, uh, the Wall Street movie, you know, and they think, oh, yeah, cool. You know, I'm going to take a thousand dollars and turn it into a million dollars. And in reality, they get wrecked, and especially the people that start using leverage. But the point is, is that not speaking for my own financial gains, because how stupid would that be? But I've known people that are not me that have had, you know, a few thousand turn into six or seven million. And how many gains do they hold through to get the principle of 3,000 to 6.5 million? A lot of gains, right? And so part of the, the, the beneficial part of Hex is that when you're staked, you're keeping yourself accountable and so the other thing I mentioned on my stream recently today is you don't have to stake all of it, right? You don't have to stake at all. I mean, shit, you could have not staked. And from the lowest to the all-time high, you could have had like 4,000-something gains, 4,000x something gains. What else? This is going to be the last topic. I want this to be under 10 minutes. Um, you can keep control of your wealth. Great. That means you're holding your own keys. The second to last is, uh, or the very last is, you can earn yield even in a bear market. That's one of the most beautiful things about Hex that I love is every single day you are earning interest as a staker. Now, it doesn't matter how many trillions of shares, how many billions, how many millions, how many hundreds of thousands of shares you have. If you have shares, you're earning Hex. Whether it's a fraction of Hex or whether it's whole Hex, you're at least earning Hex based on the amount of T-shares that you have and when those shares expire, yada, yada, yada. So that's all I want to say is it's really cool to have a, you know, sure there's a couple typos, but I mean, look at this, the Hex community, you know, right here, the Hex community. I mean, I haven't even read this book and I know that it's worth buying because I bought two copies and, uh, and I know that, Hey, it's a Hexakin that's representing the product in a legitimate way. And maybe they're able to educate some of the boomers that aren't able to listen to, you know, us modern kids talking about it. So Maybe someone can benefit from this book, um, uh, Joaquin Christensen. So like I said, I will put the link in the first link of the description, so you're welcome, so you people don't have to ask if I ever posted it. It's going to be the first link from now on. So that's all I've got to say. A lot of hexagons. Now we've got books. We've got SciVive, t.me slash SciVive. It's got the whole SciVive edited book, and it's got Fix the World, which is Richard's second book. That's not talked about enough. And I've got all those books printed out on, uh, you know, one-sided pieces of paper on like a big-ass binder. And maybe I'll start reviewing that and kind of talking about me through my own SciVive journey, you know, losing some weight that I've gained and, uh, and getting back into it. Thank you to, you know, thanks to Richard Hart and the information and uh, technology and community. So that's all I have for today. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. I might make another clip if it's, uh, if it's relevant. Otherwise, I'll see y'all tomorrow, Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, here.